Hey guys, I'm back here and welcome to episode number 14 of Gamers Digest. First big thing in the news is that Razer announced their new Razer Blade, which is going to be their gaming laptop. Razer previously announced this project was going to be called the Switchblade, but I think they just changed it to Razer Blade because that sounds a lot cooler and... Hee <laughs> hee, Razer Blade, get it? Now onto the important part, the specs. These are the current specs for the Razer Blade and they're pretty damn good. I was kind of surprised when I saw these. 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, that's pretty sick. I uh, wasn't expecting that. 8 gigs of DDR3, that's pretty damn good too. My computer has 21, but that's just because I like video editing. An i7 processor, I don't know, looks pretty good to me. Now that I got you guys all excited, time to shit all over your dreams. Now right now in the comments, pause the video and take a wild guess at what this is going to cost. Are you done yet? Did you guess $2,800? Because I didn't, but that's how much it's going to cost. Um, I don't know, that's that's a lot of money for a computer. My computer that I built, I have like a super computer right beside me. It was two grand and I was, you know, I was buying pretty expensive parts. Uh, I got a, that's two grand with the screen and the screen is full HD, 60 frames a second. I, I, I don't know, it was two grand total. Three grand for a laptop, my gaming laptop when I used to play on a laptop was, I, I think like 1200 bucks and it played WoW, 60 frames a second, frapsed full HD, full ultra graphics and everything for 1200 bucks. So, I don't know. 3 grand. Eh. While the specs are really good on this laptop, you can get those same specs in a different laptop for a lot less of a price. Now, this touchpad right here with the buttons that change and stuff, that seems to be the main feature, the main kick-ass feature that are that are advertising. But the one problem I have with it is if you're actually competitively gaming, you're never going to use that because you're going to have to be using the mouse way over there. You're not even going to be able to touch those keys over there. So I'm not really sure what those are there for. I guess if you're playing Battlefield in your car with the touchpad, then you'll be able to hit those keys. But from what I understand, how are you going to use those keys if you're actually playing competitively with a mouse? Unless you're laying in your bed playing WoW, fishing for achievements, I really don't understand the purpose of that pad. It's cool. It's a cool idea and all. I just, I don't know. I'd rather have a number pad. Considering I play my games competitively, I'm not much of a, uh, like, I guess, a gamer that doesn't play competitively. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't see the, the purpose of it. Back when I used to game on a laptop, I actually turned the touchpad off because I would accidentally drag my thumb over it and, like, spin my character in a 180. So I actually ended up going into the control panel and actually turning it off. And maybe it's just a personal thing. I'm not much of a touchpad user. I'd rather, I'd rather just hook in a mouse and have a lot more control. But anyway, I'm not I'm not hating on the switchblade or the I mean the razor blade. I'm sorry, but I don't know. I just don't understand the price tag for that one feature. And that really seems to be the only defining feature to make it three thousand dollars almost. You can get a lot more computer for three thousand dollars than what they're offering. But it is a cool package, you know, if I could get a hold of one of these things, I would love to, to play with it. I'm sure it's going to be a great system that can play the shit out of any game you need to, but I just think it might be a little too expensive for what it is. And before I play this preview trailer, I kind of have some concerns. First of all, battery life is going to be terrible. I don't care who you are. If you're playing games on a laptop, it's going to last like an hour to an hour and a half max. I don't care what kind of lab, uh, what kind of power source you have, unless it's hooked into a wall, it's... I, I would be extremely impressed if you had decent battery life actually playing a game. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't let them lie to you about that. There's no way you can play a game on that kind of battery for, for very long at all with any kind of performance. Because I know when I, with my laptop, if I didn't have it hooked in, I, I could play WoW, but, you know, I would chop here and there, and there was no way I could fraps. It just didn't have enough power. And uh, the other concern I have is heat. This thing is going to get hot, especially with a lot of the components they're running, and if you're playing a game like Battlefield 3, it's going to get hot. That's just the uh, the bottom line. And last is noise. I know you guys used to make fun of me for uh, playing in an airplane, especially people on Vent. They're like, wow, Zyback, Zyback is pinging in on Vent from 20,000 feet because my computer sounded like an airplane because my laptop cooling was so loud, especially when I was frapsing and and really going through a lot of CPU resources. So really the only concerns I have is heat, noise, and how long the battery is going to last. And two of those I really could give a shit about. I don't care how loud it is and how long the battery lasts. Because 99% of the time I'm going to have it hooked into the wall and have a noise-canceling headset on. So it's not going to bother me too much. 
You might hear a little bit of uh, airplane noise if you're on Skype or something. But other than that, I care less. And you're probably not going to be bringing the uh, the Switchblade to class to play games. So it's probably not going to get loud in that point. But, uh, you know, the only time my, my computer ever got loud like that is when I would actually play a game like Battlefield. Other than that, it stayed decently quiet. Well, now that you have my opinion on this product, I'm going to play the Razer promo to get you guys all excited again. Gaming laptops do not exist today. There are desktop replacements that perform well for gaming, but are over three inches thick and weigh up to 10 pounds, nothing that would be called truly portable. And on the other hand, they are really thin portables, but they lack the performance required for gaming, but are great for surfing and office applications. We decided to develop a system from ground up, something truly phenomenal, something designed both for performance and portability something we believe to be the world's first gaming laptop. Thinner than an inch and weighing less than seven pounds, the razor blade is the thinnest laptop of its class. Gaming is very important category for Intel, so we continue to innovate around form factor usages and capabilities to benefit the end users. With one of the latest and most powerful Core i7 processor from Intel, gamers will now be able to immerse themselves in an interactive experience with a balanced system designed to achieve stunning frame rates with all the latest and most intense PC games today. Incredible performance in extremely thin form factor, that's innovation that gamers can truly appreciate with Razer and Intel. NVIDIA is proud to be part of what Razer has accomplished with the Razer Blade. Best in class gaming performance without compromising on its ultra portable form factor. Equipped with a high-performance GeForce GPU, along with battery-saving Optimus technology, the Razer Blade screams both power and portability. With this kind of graphics performance, the Razer Blade will provide the exceptional experience that gamers demand, all in an ultra-portable notebook. The Razer Blade's dynamic adaptive key technology puts all your commands, controls, and skills right at your fingertips. And we've combined that with a revolutionary LCD display that is capable of two modes. One mode that displays in-game information when you use your mouse. And another mode that functions as an ultra-sensitive multi-touch panel designed just for gamers on the go. Sleek, lightweight design. A powerful internal computing architecture. And the most innovative user interface available today. The Razer Blade will reinvent the way you look at PC Gaming. Now, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea that I'm ragging on Razer. I obviously am a huge Razer fan. I've got a lot of their products. But I don't really see this to be that much different than what's on the market right now. I mean, you can get an Alienware computer with the same glowing keyboard and glowing crap all over it for a lot cheaper with the same specs. I don't know, I just don't really see it to be that much different from what's on the market right now, and I don't think it really justifies a $3,000 price tag. And I know a lot of you guys are Razer fans because of the Swifty environment, and, you know, everyone likes Razer so far, but just because something has a Razer tag on it doesn't mean it's the greatest thing in the world. Just a, uh, you know, a friendly, friendly consumer tip. Same thing goes with shoes. Just because it's got a Nike check on it doesn't mean it's the greatest shoe in the world. As you can tell by this screen, I'm going to be giving away another Steam game because fuck originality. And you guys seem to really love $15 games. The two people that have won already have wanted $15 games. And how can I complain about a prize that you guys want that's cheap for me? I mean, fuck, if you guys want $15 Steam games, I'm going to do that all day instead of buying a $100 keyboard and then paying... The 20 bucks to ship it to Australia, you know, why not just do Steam? It's free, no shipping, and you guys really want games like Super Meat Boy. So, <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it if you guys keep wanting it. All you have to do to have a chance to win a free Steam game of your choosing is thumbs up, favorite, and comment on this video, and be sure to go to my YouTube channel and send me your friend request.
If you're already my YouTube friend, don't worry about it. That just means you're one step ahead of the game and you just have to do one less thing. I'll be sending a private message to the winner right before the next Gamers Digest comes out, so be sure to check your PM box. And that'll do it for this episode of Gamers Digest. I think for certain topics that I'm really long-winded about, I'm just going to have one Gamers Digest specifically for that topic rather than have one 30-minute Gamers Digest where I go over three to four topics in detail. I'm just going to do one. And at this point, I'm rambling, so that'll wrap up this episode of Gamers Digest. I'll see you guys next time.